We may have celebrated Miley Cyrus's 27th birthday a week ago, but it seems like this year we're always celebrating something that she's up to. Because this year has certainly been a big year for her. The good, the bad, and the Miley. What is up you guys? It's Susan Morad here for Clever News, and today I want to take a look back at 2019, the year of Miley. Miley started off the year strong, performing her hit with Mark Ronson, Nothing Breaks Like a Heart on The Ellen Show, and gracing the cover of Vanity Fair in February. In her cover story, Miley talked about the state of American politics as well as her fairly new marriage to Liam Hemsworth. In April, Miley continued to make a conscious effort to stand up for the environment when she made a brief cameo in Little Dickie's Earth video. She starred alongside other huge names like Justin Bieber, Ariana Grande, Shawn Mendes, Charlie Puth and a whole lot more. When the first Monday in May rolled around, Miley attended the Met Gala alongside Liam. She wore a super sleek green and black dress that fit nicely into the theme of camp. And little did we know these would be some of the last photos that we would see of Miley and Liam together. Later that month, on May the 31st, Miley dropped her highly anticipated EP, She Is Coming. It featured some songs that became an instant success like Mother's Daughter and Unholy. It also featured a song called The Most that was written for her husband, Liam. In it, she declares her love for Liam and she says that even when she's cold or when she hurts him, he still loves her the most. Just a few days later, Miley and Liam went to Spain where Miley was performing at a music festival. Shortly after the event, a scary video surfaced of a man trying to grab Miley. Luckily, security got in the way and Miley got into the car just fine. A few days later, Miley scared us in a different way. Her episode of Black Mirror premiered where Miley plays a fictional futuristic pop star by the name of Ashley O. The episode focused on Ashley O being held against her will by an older caretaker to produce an endless stream of bubblegum pop music. It gained a lot of traction online and a lot of people thought that Ashley O was a way for Miley to express the hardships she went through as a child portraying Hannah Montana. Some people also thought that the episode was based off of Jojo Siwa, but that's a whole nother story. The episode did so well and Ashley O resonated with so many people that Miley and the creators of Black Mirror decided to release a whole music video by Ashley O for her song On A Roll. The song hit the Billboard charts and shortly after, Miley became the first female artist to chart under three different pseudonyms. Also in June, Liam and Miley posed for the St. Laurent Spring Summer 20 show on the beach near their old home in Malibu. Later, body language experts would say that it was clear that their marriage was fizzling out from these photos and the way that they held themselves next to each other. It was more sad news in July when Miley lost her pet pig, Pig Pig. She turned to Instagram to share her mourning saying, very sad to say my dear friend Pig Pig has passed away. I will miss you always. Thank you for so many laughs and good times, girl. Meanwhile, Miley was gracing the August cover of Elle magazine, the title of the article reading, Miley Cyrus has finally found herself. In the profile, Miley talked about the success of Black Mirror, her EP, as well as hopes for her upcoming album and her marriage. But unfortunately, the hope that we saw in the article never came to light. A few days into August, news broke that Miley and Liam had separated for good. A representative for Miley confirmed the news to People magazine saying, Liam and Miley have agreed to separate at this time. Ever evolving, changing as partners and individuals, they have decided this is what's best while they both focus on themselves and careers. They still remain dedicated parents to all of their animals they share while lovingly taking this time apart. Please respect their process and privacy. If that wasn't enough, photos of Miley and Caitlin Carter getting cozy in Italy certainly sealed the deal. And then Miley released Slide Away, which took a dig at Liam and let us all know that the breakup was not going to be cordial. Amidst all of this drama, Miley was busy promoting her collaboration with Ariana Grande and Lana Del Rey, Don't Call Me Angel. The song was the first tidbit of the new Charlie's Angels movie that we got to see, and the music video featured Miley beating up some guy that a lot of people thought sort of resembled Liam in the boxing ring. Things with Caitlyn evidently did not work out and Miley started hanging out with Cody Simpson. Or should I say Miley started making out with Cody Simpson at an Asahi bowl shop. The two got pretty close pretty quickly, getting complimentary tattoos and doing a couple's costume together for Halloween. He was there with her when she needed to get vocal cord surgery and he stuck with her through her period of mandatory vocal rest. So Miley has had lots of ups and downs in the past year and we're still expecting to see that new album of hers out in 2020. So expect a lot more to come from Miss Cyrus in 2020 and probably all the way through 2030. 
But right now, you guys, let's hear from you. What's been your favorite thing Miley has done this year? And also, are you super excited for new music in 2020? Chat it out in the comment section below. And while you're down there leaving comments, if you have not hit that subscribe button before, you guys, it is so easy. All you need to do is hit that right there and also hit the bell to be notified the second we post a new Clever News update. After that, catch up on all the news you missed right over here. Thanks for hanging out with me, guys. I'm Susan Morad and I'll see you later. Bye.